Hello boys and girls, today we are going to work with the fold and roll vehicles. This is an exciting opportunity for you to build your own vehicle and test it for friction and alignment. With the Pitsco fold and roll pack, you'll get enough materials to build several, in fact 16, fold and roll vehicles. The one we're going to put together today to demonstrate the assembly is the Red Roadster. The pattern for the Red Roadster looks like this, and you'll find on the corner a legend which will tell us how to cut the car out and where to fold. This particular car we cut along the blue lines and will score and fold along the yellow lines. As our first step, we are going to cut out those four square holes. Here, 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 and here. To do that, we will be using a piece of cardboard to protect the surface we're working on. We'll lay the pattern over the cardboard. We will use a sharp utility knife to cut the holes in the car body. Be sure that the cardboard is under the car body at the position where the hole is to be cut and carefully cut along the blue lines of the square. We'll cut out the second hole again being sure that the cardboard is still underneath the hole as we cut. And as always, when working with a sharp knife, we want to be very, very careful. We'll move the pattern to the front two holes so that they are over the cardboard. And we'll proceed in cutting out those two holes. as well. Be sure that the paper is removed from these two holes as well. We're now ready to begin cutting out our pattern. So again, with this pattern we're cutting along the blue lines. We begin cutting, being careful to cut along the blue lines. and not cut into any yellow lines. The better that you do your job of cutting out, the better that your car will look in the end. And now we have a cutout pattern for our Red Roadster. The next step is to score the paper where we'll make the folds for the vehicle. Remember, the yellow lines are where we will be folding. To score the paper, we will want to score along this first yellow line. We'll place the ruler up next to that yellow line and use the back side of our scissors and press firmly on the paper along the yellow line. We'll repeat the process with another yellow line, placing the ruler beside the yellow line, using the back side of the scissors and pressing firmly the length 
of that yellow line. The ruler helps keep our scissors right along the line. We'll go ahead and score all the yellow lines. And now we've finished scoring all the yellow lines and we're ready to fold the vehicle. We'll turn the pattern over and begin by folding the side of the vehicle up and creasing it along the score that we just did. Likewise for the other side of the vehicle, we'll fold it up and crease the paper along the yellow line where we scored the paper. Now we'll fold the front portion of the vehicle again along the yellow line and we'll crease it. The other side of the front don't worry about if the other parts get in the way let's go ahead and fold it and crease it and now the top portion of the front we'll fold along that line increase it and now we have a little tab that we need to fold and crease as well. So now our vehicle should look about like this. We'll fold the back of the vehicle up and crease along that yellow line and there's a second yellow line on the back We want to fold and crease along that yellow line. What we have left are tabs along the front and the top that we need to fold in. Again, we'll lay the vehicle out flat and we'll fold the tabs inward and crease them. And on this particular model, be sure not to forget these two small angular tabs, one on this side and one in a corresponding position on this side. Be sure to fold those in as well. Again, laying it flat and folding this small tab backwards and creasing it. We'll check and make sure that all of the scored yellow lines where we're folding the vehicle have been folded and creased all the way around the vehicle. We're now ready to begin assembling the vehicle. To assemble our vehicle, we'll use ordinary cellophane tape. As we begin assembly of the vehicle, we will cut lengths of tape that correspond to the length of the tab we're working with. For this tab, we'll tear off some tape and we'll place the tape underneath the tab with the sticky side up towards us, like this, and we'll fold the top portion of the vehicle over the tab and the tape and we'll position it so that the crease of the tab is along the same line as the top of the vehicle. Then we'll press the tape and body together so that it stays in position like this. If you would like, you may add a piece of tape on the outside of the vehicle as well. for extra durability. Next, we'll go to the back portion of the vehicle. We'll fold the back of the vehicle up 
and orientate it such that the sides of the vehicle are adjacent to the back end of the vehicle. Now we'll carefully place our fingers inside the vehicle and press the tape and the body together. Like that. Again, if you like, you may add a piece of tape to the outside of the vehicle if necessary. Our next taping job will be on these top two flaps. We'll cut tape to the lengths of these tabs, place the tape inside the vehicle on the underneath side of the tab with the sticky side up. We'll do this for both sides of the vehicle. And then we'll fold the top down, hold it in position, place our fingers inside, and press the top and the flaps together like that. Our last two tabs are these small angular tabs on either side of the vehicle. Again, we will cut tape the length of those tabs. We'll place the tape on the inside portion of the tab, fold the vehicle forward slightly, and position it so that the front of the vehicle is aligned with the yellow line on the tab. Holding it in that position, we place our fingers inside the car and press along that tab like that. We do the same on the other side of the vehicle. If necessary, you can place a small piece of tape across the outside of this joint as well. The next step in the process is to add straws to the vehicles. These straws will act as bearings for the axle and the wheels. To determine the length of straw that we need, we turn the vehicle over. We we'll need to cut the straw about one-eighth of an inch longer than the width of the bottom of the vehicle. So leaving your thumb on the position where you want to cut, take your scissors and simply cut the straw there. We we'll need to cut a second straw the same length. So we'll hold the first section that was cut up to the long straw and cut off a second section. So now we have two straws the same length. We'll place those straws through the holes that we cut as the first step of this process. Position the straw in the hole so that about 1 16th inch of the straw sticks out from the side of the body. We want equal amounts of straw on both sides of the car body. We'll do the same with the other straw, placing it through the holes in the front of the vehicle. And again, we'll want equal amounts of straw on both sides of the car body. For axles, We'll be using dowel rods that are supplied with the kit. We'll need to cut the axles to two and a half inches. So we'll place the axle next to the metal ruler and mark the location at two and a half inches. We can use scissors to cut the dowel. We'll cut it at the mark. Of course, our car will need two axles, so we'll mark a second two and a half inch length on the dowel rod. 
and again cut it with our scissors. Using a small piece of sandpaper, lightly sand the ends of the axles to remove any burrs. There will be four wheels that we'll use for the vehicle. Two of the wheels, which are wider, will go on the back of the vehicle, and the two smaller wheels, or skinnier wheels, will go on the front of the vehicle. We'll place the end of one of the axles into the hole in one side of one of the front wheels. Press it in firmly. Before putting the other wheel on the axle, we'll insert the axle and wheel through the straw in the front. And then place the other wheel on the other end of the dowel, like that. We'll repeat the process for the rear wheels, placing the second axle in the hole in one of the rear wheels, placing the rear wheel and axle through the straw, and placing the other rear wheel on the other end of the axle, like that. Final step is to inspect the vehicle and make sure all the parts are put together correctly and to even fold up the windshield like this. And now we have completed our fold and roll Red Roadster vehicle. Next in the process we'll be testing our fold and roll Red Roadster. For testing we can use the Pitsco roll test ramp. We'll place our Red Roadster at the top of the ramp and we'll see how well it rolls. You can do an experiment with your fold and roll Red Roadster involving friction. You can place carpet, sandpaper, or other rough materials at the base of the ramp and then see how far your Roadster will travel on those materials. Be sure to record the results in a data table so that you can compare the different surfaces and the amount of friction that they provide for your Roadster. The Roadster will typically go less distance on rougher surfaces. Another interesting experiment would be to determine how straight your Roadster is rolling. Depending upon the alignment, your Roadster may travel straight down a line or it may curve as it goes down the ramp. By adjusting the front axle of your Red Roadster, you can determine the direction it will go. You may want to have a contest with other kids who have built fold and roll Roadsters to see which one will travel the straightest. For this contest, we'll need to place a strip of masking tape from the center of the front of the ramp out as far as you can go. Then you can roll your Roadsters down the ramp and see how far off center they go. For the contest, we'll measure how far the front wheel of the dragster is away from the masking tape. We've completed the construction of our red roadster fold and roll vehicle. And this is Dr. Zoon saying, see you real soon.